Oh, don't cut me. I'm like, Um, but I would like to welcome two people that are here tonight that are a part of this film. Um, uh, uh, firstly, I'd like to introduce a producer who worked on this, Peter Safran, and also a new squad member, Peter Capaldi. I just mentioned it's been been a while since we've been in the in the theaters now. How are you guys feeling about everyone seeing this film? Well, I, I think people are going to have a really good time because it's the perfect film for us. Isn't it? It's full of spectacle, adventure, color, music, lots of bickering and swearing and unpleasantness. So I think we'll have a good time. Peter, how are you feeling about it? It's amazing to be back in the, in the cinema. And you know, in the giant screen like this, it's exactly how God and James got intended. And there's a, a huge cast of people that you both worked with. Do you, how did it come together? Was there, you know, specific roles? Did you work with James and you're like, okay, we know who's going to play what? Did you look at Peter and go, okay, he needs to play that role? We basically built around Peter Capaldi. Yeah. Once we had him, <laughs> we knew that the rest was going to come together because he is the anchor tenant of the film. Quite clearly, you can see that none of the other members of the cast are available. <laughs> trapped in other countries, which is why I get this premiere all to myself. <laughs> um, for you, Peter, how was it working with um, your fellow Brit, Idris Elba, who's another new squad member? Yeah, no, it was great to work with him. It was so exciting to hear a real comedy accent, yeah. you know, out there in Atlanta. Uh, but he was just one of uh, numerous friendly faces. The, the entire cast and crew, I have to say, were a really welcoming and, and, and warm group of people to work with. I think they were all terrific. No spoilers, but what was your favorite moment? Um, you know, there's a, there's a, you've probably seen it because it's in the trailer. There's a, there's a scene of us all walking in the rain. Uh, it actually took about three days to film this. And uh, unlike in the UK, when the rain machines we have usually are, you know, like a hose from a garden center, <laughs> just off camera, or if you're lucky, you get the, the fire department. This seemed to be a, a welded maze of pipes suspended from uh, cranes, which when they turned the rain on, I looked up and it was some seconds before it hit us. But this entire cast of all these big stars were absolutely soaked to the skin for three days. And there was not one complaint. There was nothing but jokes uh, and an easygoing atmosphere among them all. And that was really impressive. I know exactly what scene you're talking about. The rain does come down quite heavy in that scene. Um, but like I said, no spoilers. I keep warning everyone and I'm the one that's talking. Um, Peter, you, so you filmed in Panama and also in Atlanta um, to kind of create the fictional Corto Maltese area. For you, what was like the most, because I felt watching it, there's a lot of scenic moments. What was one scene that kind of stands out to you? Uh, I think in the third act, which we shot almost exclusively in Panama, in this uh, beautifully decrepit city called uh, uh, Cologne. And uh, to be shooting there with Marco and Idris and David and Kinnaman and Cena, just in that environment with giant action explosions going on and stunts, it was just really exciting to be, to be there for that. 
There, I feel like you kind of upped a level since, you know, the last film in 2016. You kind of came in and said, right, I'm going to go big. Well, really what we said is, let's see the Suicide Squad through the vision of James Gunn. Yeah. And so this is 100% the unfilmed vision of James Gunn. So for better or for worse, that's what it is. <laughs> Guys, we are so excited for you to see this film. I wanted to ask both of you, what would you like the audience to take away from watching it tonight? Um, I just want you to have a good time and to be safe. That's the main thing. But enjoy being back in the in the cinema. It's a fabulous place to be and tell your friends. <laughs> yeah, I just want them to enjoy the experience. I, mean, I think that, that James has created a film that's unlike any film in the superhero world or really any film ever. And it's an incredible experience. Buckle up for it. And uh, don't get too attached to any of the characters. Because uh, a lot of them are going to die. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Thank you very much. Please a round of applause for Peter. <laughs> Remember those spoilers.